Hi everybody, this is Coach Joe. Welcome to my Coach's Invite, and I'm here to help you answer the question that I always get asked, where do I get started with Exigen? Exigen has a lot of value, but ultimately, there's three real key areas that I want to explain to you that will really help you know probably where the best place for you to start in your program or with your athlete. And what's important to remember is all three of these areas are going to help you already see an improvement in performance. So these three main areas that I'm talking about, number one is improving base conditioning, number two is improving technical conditioning or technical skill of running, and number three is RTP or returning from an injury. So improving base conditioning, that's pretty straightforward. That's using our, what we call our warm-up protocol. Getting exogen in for the first 15 to 30 minutes of practice, one or two pieces on the legs, calves or shorts, our legs feed the wolf, and doing your drills, doing your hurdles, doing your strides, going through your coordination, your balance, and your basic training exercises that are designed to stimulate and maintain and improve the base conditioning level of a runner's legs. Now, what do you think is going to happen if you do that for four to six weeks with some light loading on the body and then take that load off and go and race? The shape, the quality, the endurance of the athlete is going to be significantly improved. But also your feeling and understanding of how wearable resistance feels and also their understanding. This is critical. The moment those athletes start running with that weight and you move the positions around according to our guidelines, they're going to start coming to you and say, Coach, I think this is going to help this. I can see this helping this. So let that happen organically. It's not just weight training. Movement quality will change. You'll see that. But let you and the athlete get used to that by putting it on in that warm-up session and most importantly, taking it off. Don't leave it on for the whole session. 15 to 30 minutes of loading three to four times a week for four to six weeks in your warm-up drills and you will already see those split times and race times improve. Number two, specific skill. Now this is the one everybody asks, you know, I've got an athlete that's got way too much back end mechanic or I want to get my front end up, I want to get that hip, everybody wants that high hip recovery, that high leg recovery. We can work on that, but again, I recommend you start with the warm-up protocol. Now, these technical issues, they're not hard to work on, but again, you want to know how to use the product on the body and you want the athlete to already have felt it so they can give you the feedback you need. What's really important on these technical blocks is, again, you need to work, you work it in the main body of your exercise session, your training session. You load them for about 50, 60% of the time. Always finish unloaded and use movement quality and split times as your guide. Don't turn this into sleds because it's not sleds. Don't turn this into weight vests or cables because it's neither of those. This is loading on the body in cyclic rotational movement patterns and we've never had tools that have been applied in this manner. Not any that commercially worked the way ours does now. And so you're going to need some time to understand that. So make that your second goal even though it's your first priority. At least run a couple of weeks of warm up first. And the last area we work a lot with because whenever you have an injury, it becomes the number one priority, and that is a return to play. Exigen, because of the specific nature of where and how we can load, we can really accentuate both the movement awareness of the athlete to an injured area that's been lost because of the deconditioning, the weight shift and the unilateral imbalances that exist because generally injuries are one-sided, and most importantly is the confidence an athlete needs to get back to full speed because most athletes in the return to pay stage after a major injury of any kind are cautious, scared, and uncomfortable being back at max. Exogen is probably one of the best tools to help them rebuild that confidence at speed. Now all three of these protocols, you can start anywhere you want. Go into our YouTube channel, there's videos out there on them. Our app, the Leela Plus app, available on Apple and Android is there for you. There's programs in there to help. We're going to be adding more, answering more of these questions. But I wanted to put this all together just for you coaches that are listening right now and thinking, all right, I get that. We start simple, get some lower body kit, get it into our warm-up protocol, load our guys a couple times a week, let them feel it, unload it, let them feel the unloading too because once that load comes off, they start flying and they want more. And once you get the feeling and you understand it, everybody has a nervous system. You will automatically have a higher level of understanding where to go next. So thanks again. Don't forget, get that Leela app. If you do have other questions, reach out. We're always here to help. But hopefully this helps you coaches get a little better idea of how you're going to get started on a journey with Exogen that is going to help you improve performance.